Scott in Suffolk. Hello, Scott. Hello. And you went to a boarding military school in Surrey and you loved it. Yeah, I went to a school called Gordon's um, uh, Boys and Girls School and I absolutely had a whale of time. Yeah, it was brilliant. How old were you when you went off to school? I um, spent my secondary school time there, so I was sort of, uh, just come to 13 and stayed there till late 16. And, and, I mean, you were 13. I suppose there's a massive difference between how developed as a character you are at 13 and, and at the age of eight, isn't it, when Mark, our, our, our guest, went to school. Do you think because you were older you were just able to handle it better? Um, I, I've, I would say so, yeah, because you've got a certain amount of um, sort of time to build up. Uh, how you deal with things emotionally uh, and every sort of day sort of helps with that. I mean, I've got a son and a daughter. I've got mm -hmm. an 11-year-old daughter who I would happily send away and who actually wants to go. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a, a four-year-old son, Hamish, um, who personally I would say I, w I would like to give them the option rather than giving them the nudge. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, certainly my daughter said, I want to go, Dad. Can we? Can you go? Um, unfortunately, I can't afford it. But if I could, then I, I'd send her there in September after this, after the holidays. And everything that Mark said about the first night and the, the, his parents' car and the sound of it crunching over the gravel and you know feeling utterly abandoned and feeling that boarding schools are a kind of way of making abandonment acceptable. You know, just you know, deputise the whole care of your own children. You you didn't feel that at all. No, not at all. I mean, I, I remember my first day, um, and it was a day of massive excitement for me. Um, we we turned up at the school. We met the the house parents. Um, we got our bags and everything, and and sort of unpacked and got to our dorms and given our beds and areas. Uh, we, we were instantly meeting new friends and new people, and it, I, I found it quite exciting. Obviously. There is an area of fear and emotion there of, you know, because, it, well, it's a new, it's a whole new environment. Um, but it, it didn't take me long um, to settle and just li literally sit back and, and enjoy it, really. Thank you very much for telling us about it. Let's go to Paul in Dundalk in Ireland.